Hi, and welcome to this demo of Beans. Beans is a free payments app that also offers uh, yield on savings. And we are focusing on people that know nothing about blockchain. So we've tried to abstract away everything blockchain related, like public keys, private keys, difficult wording, and everything else. So we'll show you later how we did that. Let's go into what Beans offers as a functionality. Beans offers a way to easily send, receive, and request money. Um, when I send uh, a payment to someone that might want, uh, want to receive euros, while I prefer to send dollars, the app will know. So I just fill in how many dollars I'm sending, and I will see that this person will receive some amount in euros. Uh, this means that I don't have to pick the asset I'm sending. I don't have to choose what asset he should receive. I don't have to worry about trust lines on Stellar. It will all just convert automatically. So we are also paying the network fees. So when you send a dollar of uh, a payment of $10, your friend will also receive $10. We did that because a lot of users that don't know blockchain find it very weird when they send $10 and their friend receives $9.999. So finally, you can also earn yield on beans. Someone in Argentina might set up their account in pesos and uh, wants to escape inflation. So what they can do is convert their peso into dollars and then earn some yield on it. So how do we use Stellar? We use Stellar for easy deposits. So we use the local anchors for that. Someone in Argentina is connected to, for example, Anclef or Settle so that they can deposit from their bank account or even MoneyGram when that goes live, so they can deposit in cash. We use SEP30, we are integrating that right now, uh, for easy recovery, so that you can recover your account through a phone number or email address and don't have to worry about seed phrases or private keys. We use uh, path payments and a whole bunch of other operations for easy payments. Um, this means you don't have to worry about conversions, etc. And uh, for easy yield, we use ultra stellar's uh, yield assets uh, and path payments. So later on, we will make it possible to earn yield through DeFi if that goes live on Stellar as well. So let's have a look at the demo. On the left-hand side, Sophia is creating an account. She fills in her username. She fills in her email address and phone number for recovery and backup purposes, which we will uh, later use for payments to email and phone numbers as well. She picks her preferred currency, so she sets up her account in PESO, so all payments she receives are automatically converted to PESO. She makes payments in PESO, and her account is created. As you can see, we are sponsoring the minimum balances and trust lines, so she doesn't have to worry about having enough XLM in her, uh, in her wallet. Now on the right hand side, uh, I already set, an, set up an account in dollars. So what I will do is I will click send and I will initiate a payment to her. I can see that she prefers to receive peso. I will leave her a message, get some coffee with that. And now the app will know that I prefer to send dollars while she prefers to receive peso. So I can see the, the quote. I fill in how many dollars I want to send. I can see how many pesos she will receive and I just click send. And Stellar Path payments do all the magic. So the payment is coming through, exact rate is being defined. And then as you can see, two and a half dollars were sent. Now on the left hand side in Sophia's account, I can see the transaction showing up and she now might want to request some more money. So we click request and she might want to request some money for, for example, groceries to her brother who lives in the United States. So she fills in 500 pesos for groceries and she can share it through WhatsApp or, for example, Slack. So we'll go with Slack in this example. And now I share it to my account on the right-hand side. So if I go to Slack, 
I can see that the, the message came in. And now when I click it, I can see that Sophia is requesting 500 peso for groceries and I will at most pay $2.47. So I don't have to worry about uh, having pesos. I don't have to worry about trust lines. I just click send and I will never pay more than 247. I might pay less. So the payment came through. I can go back to my overview, see that the payment came through. And then now Sophia has enough pesos that she might want to start uh, saving some. She might want to convert into dollars to escape inflation. She opens a savings account in dollars, clicks next. She will see that we use Altrastella as buy assets. And now she just has to fill in how many pesos she wants to convert to her new dollar savings balance. She sees that she will receive 492 in dollars and she transfers the money. And the conversion is happening. So when it's done, she will receive daily interest um, payments automatically. So the payment came through and we can go back to the overview. So now you can see that on our savings balance, she has dollars that add up to 988 pesos. So for the sharp uh, listener, uh, she transferred a thousand pesos and she has received 988. That's a bit of a weird experience, we think. Uh, it is because exchange rates have varied a little bit. So we are still working on making this an even smoother experience for people that might not understand this. Uh, we have some ideas on that. We'll let you know later. Um, finally, if she opens another savings account in, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum or Lumens, uh, it will show up beneath this one. Um, she will also earn yields on that. Uh, finally, we are now working on implementing step 30, but also in implementing step 24 for the bank on and off ramps. And we have uh, on the roadmap, for example, QR code payments uh, so that a merchant can ask for a payment. You scan it and no matter if you have different currencies, you will pay in your preferred currency. Uh, so that will be very easy. And there's a, a whole bunch of other ideas we have still, but we are uh, super happy with where we are already. And we love to hear what you think and uh, maybe you have feedback. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.